And basically we're going to go through the extension again, display name first. Um, all these settings you can pretty much leave default, ring time, call forward ring time, you can change them there in seconds. Um, well, you don't need to enter any of this, it's all customizable, just to get it basically running. You have to enter a secret password, um, which is 1001 for APVX, RFC 2833, it's default, that's how you uh, transport your uh, your tones through the network. Um, can re invite yes, from internal dynamic, a lot of these things aren't available until after you create the extension and you go in and edit it. Um, send. So this is the type you're going to want to do peer, um, NAT. If you're outside of your LAN, you click yes, but since you're not now, um, the port that it's going to be communicating on, which is 5060, default for SIP. Qualify yes, qualify frequency every 60 seconds. Transport, UDP only, you can change this um, depending on your needs. Encryption, I'm not going to encrypt it. Um, you can set up IP addresses to allow and disallow from. Um, that's the voicemail mailbox, um, denial and permit, uh, dictation services, fax, um, you'll set up, enable voicemail, you have to set up a password for the voicemail, um, email attachment, I want it yes, play caller ID, yes, play envelope, no, delete voicemail, no, um, voicemail locator disabled, this is for provisioning. I'm not going to discuss that today. And all these you're going to leave the default. It, it forwards it to voicemail if there's no answer, if it's busy, or if it's not reachable. Um, so you're going to click Submit. Apply Configuration. So once you're done creating your extension, you can go ahead and load up your soft phone, um, which is a software phone that can connect to the server. You're going to click up here and new profile. Account name, we're going to name it uh, first. I believe that's what I did before. Call ID, I believe it is that. Your extension is 1001. Your ID is going to be 1001 also. And my password was 1001 f BX. I'm in local office. IP of the SIP is 192.168.2.2. Don't need to do that. That's for if you're using the 3C, 3CX PBX uh, server. And you can press OK. Press OK. First, it'll come up and say not connected and then unhook. So, Dialing ourself to light ourselves, so obviously it goes to voicemail. So you can end that, you can dial, dial star 97 as the voicemail. Password. You have no messages. Press 2 to change. So we can end that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how this can work. We're going to create another extension. So, generic user extension is 1002. Display name, let's say second. Um, call ID, SIP alias, outbound. Don't need to change that. Ring time default. Call forward, outbound, call waiting, internal auto enter, then list call screening, queue, DID. Don't need to change any of that. This is going to be 1002 um, FPBX for free PBX. You're going to want that. Um, RFC. 2833. Um, it's not going to be on a NAT, or we are on a NAT, so, or we're not going to be going through a NAT, so you're going to leave it as no. Um, you don't need to change any of this. Dictation, language code, th we don't care about recording. Um, enable voicemail, voicemail password is 1002. Yes. So well, we're not provisioning. So commit, submit, apply configuration. So now we have the second, go back in here, um, type peer, um, send now, trust IP dynamic from internal, can re-invite, yes, 
all this can stay the same. Everything else can basically stay the same. You can go through here and you can play with the controls yourself. Submit, apply. What I'm going to do now is I'm adding the profile to a soft phone that I have on my iPhone. And I'm going to disable the sound input from my from my speaker or my, my microphone on my computer. Now I'm going to show you how it works. So second, display as second username was 1002 password was 1002 fpbx password was 1002 f fpbx domain on the cell phones will be your IP address 192.168.2.2 Voicemail number, I can set it up in here. Um, I know you can't really see this with star 97. And I'm going to enable it. Save. Okay, so basically I've set it up in my iPhone. You can see if I dial 1, 0, 2, my sound's on, so you should be able to hear this. The person at extension no? 1, 0, 0, 2 is on a video. Let's see. Let's go into settings. Enabled second one thousand two password. See, did we forget something? Let's see, let's go to reports, system status. Okay, so it only shows that there's one connected. 